Pope John XXIII is one of the most influential popes in the history of the Catholic Church. Even though his pontificate lasts in less than five years, he's one of the most admired figures in the 20th century. And for their similar style and attitude, many people compare Pope Francis to him. Here are some of the key points that mark the pontificate of the man known as the Good Pope. War At the age of 20, he was enlisted in the Italian army as a foot soldier. During World War I, he was appointed a sergeant and military chaplain. Between 1925 and 1953, he served as a diplomat in three countries, Bulgaria, Turkey and France. While serving in Istanbul, he managed to save hundreds of Jews from being deported. Pope when he eventually returned to Italy in 1953, he was made Patriarch of Venice. After five years, he was unexpectedly elected Pope. The name he chose, John, hadn't been used by a pontiff for over 700 years. Affection As Pope, John XXIII was immediately nicknamed Good Pope John for his affinity to everyone. He was the first pontiff to visit the Regina Celli Jail in Rome. He also famously visited sick children at the Bambino Gesù Hospital, where some of the kids confused him with Santa Claus. Council His most important act as Pope was summoning the Second Vatican Council. It was a defining moment in church history. It began in 1962, but Pope John died before its conclusion. The Moon Good Pope John was a great communicator, known for speaking to everyone. Once he even addressed the moon from his window at the Apostolic Palace. With a full crowd in St. Peter's Square, he said it seemed that, quote, even the moon rushed to be present for the occasion. Doctrine John XXIII wrote a total of eight encyclicals. Some of them have been fundamental texts both in Catholic and lay culture, such as Pachem in Terris. At the age of 81, John XXIII died on June 3, 1963. He was first laid to rest under St. Peter's. Now his body is preserved inside the basilica, just a few feet away from the tomb of John Paul II. Legacy It was John Paul II who beatified him in the year 2000. On the 50th anniversary of his death, Pope Francis made a special visit to his tomb and knelt before it in prayer.